Hi, my name is McKenna. I'm a professional Masters of Athletic Training student here at the University of South Carolina. And today I'm going to be taking you through how to do an eight person lift spine boarding technique. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do when you approach the patient is go through your primary survey. Um, so you're going to check for danger and make sure the scene is safe. Next, you're going to check for patient responsiveness using your AVPU scale, which stands for alert, verbal, painful, or unresponsive. Um, next, you're going to check your ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. And then after that, you're going to check for blood loss, deformity, and check neurological function um, and test your myotomes and dermatomes. Next, we're going to move into um, secondary survey. So you're going to check for vitals. Usually, you do pulse, respiration rate, possibly blood pressure if you can, and pulse ox. And then if the patient's conscious, you'll ask them for their signs and symptoms. Um, and every time you move the patient, it's important to monitor any neurological changes. Following primary and secondary survey, if you suspect a possible C-spine injury, you're going to want to move to manual inline stabilization. So in this case, I'm not going to be using a C-collar, so I'm going to use the web of my, in between my thumbs and my fingers on top of her traps to stabilize her head and neck. Um, so she can't move. If I were using a C-collar, I would move my thumbs on top of her ears and grab the base of her head. That way they can get the C-collar off. At this point, the person stabilizing the C-spine is in charge and cannot move until uh, the patient has been spine boarded. Now, the person at the head is going to start designating roles using closed loop communication. Erica, can you get the spine board in the AED? Yes, I'll get the spine board in the AED. Kaylee, can you go call 911? I'll call 911. Uh, Morgan and Zariel, can you come to the shoulders? I've got the shoulders. Austin and Lucky, can you come to the hips? Come to the hips. And Kaylee and India can come to the feet. Okay. 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 Next, I'm going to instruct my team to reposition the patient so she can be spine boarded correctly. It's also important during this time to reassure your patient and tell them what is happening since they can't see. Okay guys, please reposition her arms and legs so she can fit on the spine board properly. It's also important to check for any neurological changes or pain. Um, Next, I'm gonna instruct my team to put their hands underneath the patient and cross their arms to create a stable base for when we lift her off the ground. Okay guys, please put your hands underneath Flynn and cross your arms so we can create a stable base. Uh, I'm going to be very clear with my communication now on how we're going to spine board her. So I'm going to count down from three and on lift, we're going to lift her up in the air. Erica is going to slide the spine board back until it hits my knees and then we're going to lower her again when I count down from three, on, um, we're going to lower her on down. It's important to ask your team if nobody understands to make sure that the process goes smoothly. Okay guys, when I count down from three on lift, we're going to lift Flynn up and then once she's in the air, I'm going to count down from three again and then on down, we're going to put her down on the board. Does anyone not understand? Okay. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, down. Now I'm going to instruct the members of my team to strap Flynn into the spine board. Now I'm going to instruct members of my team to tighten the straps from the chest down at the same time from each side. Um, it's important to do the chest strap first in case the patient starts vomiting. That way you can put them in the recovery position and they won't fall off the spine board. Three, two, one. Next, we're gonna use the blocks to stabilize her head so my hands can be free. When I count down from three, I'm gonna slide my arm out while the flat, they use the flat slide to slide down on the side of her head. So Morgan, we're gonna do your side first. On three, two, one, down, I'm gonna start moving my hand out while you push down, okay? okay. Three, two, one, down. And it's important to use your hands to stabilize the outside of the blocks until uh, the head straps are on. Okay, Zara, you ready? Three, two, one, down. And now they're gonna strap her head in using the face straps. 
Hopefully EMS has arrived, so now it's time to transport her to the ambulance. Um, so using members of your team, you're going to use them to lift her up, place her onto the gurney. So on my count, three, two, one, lift. We're going to lift her off the ground, transport her to the gurney, and on three, two, one, down, we're going to place her down on the gurney. Does anyone not understand? Okay. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, down. <laughs> 